Hello everyone, this is Spencer from Buildapreneur, and this is going to be a review and really an in-depth look at ClickMagic. So if you're thinking of using ClickMagic, you know you want tracking for your business, but you don't quite understand how it all works, or if ClickMagic is the tool for you, stay tuned. All right, we're back. Thanks for watching the little intro. Um, now remember, while you're here, please click the subscribe bell. We do lots of reviews on this channel, but more than that, we do tons of trainings and tutorials and in-depth internet marketing um, case studies and really, really cool things. So click that subscribe if you want to be the first to get access to a lot of this cool training that I drop off. Second thing is, there's a link down below to two things. One is directly to Click Magic if you are ready to sign up. And the second one is actually a blog post that outlines a lot of what we talked about in this video. But if you're kind of one of those people that likes to read instead of watch a video and like kind of sit down and really analyze through words, Go ahead and click that and you can read the whole blog post and get a good idea of what Click Magic is as well. Now let's get started before we keep talking any longer. Um, so the first thing I want you to know about Click Magic, it is it is an incredibly powerful software. Like um, I, I didn't start using it till very, very, very recently. Um, and I actually signed up and I was like, wow, I gotta make a review of this because it's so, so powerful. But combined with that power is it's pretty complicated. Like there's there's so many things it can do. And because of that, um, a lot of times it's hard to figure out how to do things, <laughs> um, which is the way that way with a lot of like really powerful softwares, right? So um, we're going to try to show you all this stuff, um, but it's probably going to be kind of confusing. And honestly, like one of the best ways is just to dive in and start tinkering with it. Um, so clicking that link and just kind of like getting an account and start playing with it and, and you'll learn so much more. Um, but let's let's look at some of the things that it can do for your business, okay? Um, so the first thing to know is what is Click Magic? Click Magic is basically a way for you to get as much tracking as possible um, solely through links, okay? So if you're an affiliate marketer or a solo ads provider or um, really online marketing in general and you want as much data as you possibly can get when someone clicks a link, okay? So you want to know who they are, where they came from, like what link they clicked. You want to know which of your links are like bringing in more conversions and um, which of your links are actually having people sign up more, you know, is it YouTube or your Facebook links? Um, you want to see basically a lot more than just like, hey, this link was clicked 50 times, right? I want to know like, well, who clicked it? Where did they come from? And like, does YouTube or Facebook tend to convert better and all kinds of things like that, right? Well, that's where Click Magic comes in and gives you access to just all kinds of really, really cool data. Um, it can also do things like split testing, meaning that you can, um, you can take a link and say, hey, you know, half the time I want this, when someone clicks this link, I want it to send them to this page and the other half I want it to send to this page. And there's lots of perks to that. If you're in internet marketing, you know what you can do things like see which, you know, you can create two landing pages and see which one converts better and do all kinds of things like that. Um, you can sign up with a partner and have, you know, it, it send to every other link, every other person's affiliate link for time and eternity or however you want to go with that. But um, really cool things with that. Rotating, you can have link rotators, which I'm not going to talk at all really about this because um, it's only solo ad providers that tend to use link rotators. And if you're a solo ad provider, you probably are already using Click Magic or you know how to use it. Um, so we're not going to go into detail about that. And the other cool thing is, is Click Magic has really cool funnel and pixeling capabilities. Okay. And what that means is you could take a sales funnel. Um, you know, multiple pages, and you can put Click Magic um, links and stuff inside of each page, and then Click Magic can track what people are doing inside of your funnel. Okay, they can say, "Hey, when you send someone from YouTube, about half of them sign up for your, you know, your free offer, but only one percent sign up for your next offer." You know, versus Facebook, when uh, you send someone from Facebook, it looks like about seventy percent of those guys, you know tend to click and and go through and then you're like oh well i gotta start focusing on facebook it tends to be better traffic right which no youtube is definitely better traffic trust me um, but anyway it can tell you that right it can give you that information um so we're gonna dive in and show you kind of exactly how it all works as you can see a little bit of an outdated interface um i think it'd be a nightmare for them to change because like i said they have so many capabilities um the first really cool thing one of the things i love is the fact that it gives you custom domains okay so when you go to create a link you go to links right here and um, you can see this is my testing link that we're going to be playing with today is the Affiliate Secrets webinar. Um, but when you create a link, you can add it to your own custom domain. Okay, so my domain is buildapreneur.com. I create a, a subdomain, tracking.buildapreneur.com. And now all the links that I send out are buildapreneur.com links, right? I'm not sending a link to like clickmagic.com slash Spencer's course. It's tracking.buildapreneur.com slash um, in this case, webinar or Spencer's course or whatever you want to do. Um, you're able to do that. And that way, when you start posting on Facebook and YouTube and all these places, um, yeah, you basically you, you, you own the data. It's sending to your own website. Um, the SEO juice goes to your own website and, um, 
basically sometimes Facebook will shut people down like that are using click magic and you don't want if you're both using the same click magic link right clkmg.com and they get in trouble it's going to start hurting your links and Facebook's not going to let people post your links versus if it's your own site um, Facebook doesn't really even know that, uh, it, that you're using click magic I mean they could figure it out but but they don't really care so um, and, and as part of that, there's what's called cloaking links, okay? And what that means is basically we hide the, we hide the fact that we're even using Click Magic. It just looks like someone's going to that, you know, just to whatever page that Click Magic link is forwarding them to, okay? So I can cloak a link and basically I can add my own like meta stuff so that when I post it on Facebook, it's going to say this title. It's going to have whatever description I put here and it's going to put this image, okay? So I can choose, you know, when someone, when I put that, when someone posts a link on Facebook, me or someone else, what is it going to, you know, what is it going to say? What is it going to say as a description? Or what image is going to show up? And then I can choose, and where is that going to go, right? So that's basic link forwarding stuff. But then the really important stuff comes in when you start to get to see the data of all this stuff, okay? Um, so, like I said, I still don't even totally understand everything that goes on here, but there is a ton, and it's really, really cool. Um, so the first thing is we're going to look at the link and some of the data that, that we can get from that link. Um, one of the cool ones is traffic quality, okay? So if you're buying traffic or anything like that, you can get a good idea of it's going to do a judgment based on like uh, like how is how quality is this traffic basically how likely are they to give you money right um, and as you can see my link tested four times by me and a few family members did pretty good I've gotten eighty percent quality traffic um, but you can this is really important if you're if you're buying traffic um, you can start to see like oh hey like <laughs> this isn't working we're getting you know forty or twenty quality score meaning that we're, wherever this traffic's coming from whether we're buying it from solo ads we're running Facebook ads we're doing something wrong because the people that are coming are, are people that um, for whatever reason, are not necessarily likely to buy. Okay, so traffic quality really, really important. Um, another cool thing is traffic analysis. So it can tell you by country. Hey, look, everyone that I've sent is within my country. It can tell you by operating system. It can tell you by platform, okay? So it can tell you all, all this information. And the information it can tell you is this stuff. And as you can see, that's a lot of confusing acronyms that most of us don't even know. Um, but you can click here and it'll, it'll tell you what all those different acronyms mean. But basically, um, it's saying, hey, you know, this link, this is the total um, people that have clicked that link. This is how many unique people have clicked that link, okay? Meaning like if the same person clicked twice, it's not gonna count it as a unique click. Um, and then you can go all the way down this row and you can see things like conversions and how many people went, you know, engaged and, and became a lead. They put in their email address, um, all that kind of stuff. And in the end, you can actually identify um, by telling Click Magic an ROI saying, hey, if someone gets to this page, they spent, you know, $100 to get to that thank you page. And then it can tell you an ROI on that link. Hey, out of everyone that clicks this link, you know, you make about a dollar on average for everyone that clicked this link. So can you see why this would be really, really helpful um, as any kind of marketer really in general? It, it, I promise it's very, very helpful, um, especially that conversion tracking. Um, the next thing I want to talk about is the ability to to see where your traffic is coming from, okay? So what, I, what I've been doing is with my links, you can actually, um, so I can take my link. You can, I hope you can see my, oops, you can see my URL right here. Um, so for this link, this is the link, right? You can take it and you can see at the top here. I can add a slash and then I can add anything I want. So I can add a traffic source, like I could add YouTube or I could add Facebook or I could add AdWords, right? So I could add anything like that. Um, I can even add another slash and say like, which ad, add uh, one or add two, three, you know, or which I could do YouTube and I could say which YouTube video. Um, so I could say YouTube slash um, video about this, right? And so you can do all that stuff and then it'll actually create a subtracking link. So it'll say, okay, um, you know, we're going to send them to the page that this page, you know, forwards on to, but for your data purposes, we're actually going to let you identify specifically, you know, that this is a, that when people click that link, they're coming from YouTube and from that video. Okay. So what I'm talking about here is you can see this page. I added a YT sub ID. So I, I, I gave the link like this. That's the link that I, I put on one of my YouTube videos. Right. And now click magic can say, Hey, um, you know, someone clicked your link. We were doing a split test, so I sent them to the second page. And if you know what a split test is, it's where I say, hey, I want to send half of the people that click that link to this page and half the people that click that link to this page. Okay, um, So they sent them to this page, and it says, now the sub ID um, that, that clicked this was YouTube. And I could add a ton more, right? And so I could start seeing like, hey, from YouTube, um, we're getting you know 30 people came today, and two of them converted, and one of them purchased, right? And then I, it would add another sub ID if I made a link that looked like this and put it on my Facebook page, okay? Slash FB at the end. It would make a link, a sub ID that says FB, and it would say, hey, um, at, you know, 10 people clicked your link, and 
they went to and ended up getting sent to this split test. But um, you know, five of them came from YouTube and five of them came from Facebook. And of those five who came from those different traffic sources, here's some cool information about them, right? Like um, how many people clicked what and whether they engaged and whether they actually became a lead and whether they bought, right? So you can see all that information. So it's incredibly, incredibly useful to know where to focus your efforts, right? You need to have data to know where to focus your efforts. And if you see like, hey, YouTube converts better, I'm getting more views off my YouTube stuff, YouTube tends to become better leads, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. My opt-in pages do better when they're coming from YouTube. Then you say, I'm gonna focus more on YouTube. Clearly my, you know, for whatever reason, my niche does better than YouTube or YouTube's just a better channel, which it is. Um, yes, yes, I'm biased. Okay, so that's sub IDs. Okay, so basically uh, what, what the idea of all this, what we were just talking about is, is data, okay? It's the ability to get any data you want and I've honestly just brushed the surface of what you can do and that's that's probably the craziest thing about it all is is there's so much more you can do and we're gonna go into two other things, like details about that data that you can get uh, right now. So the next one is the ability to, I talked a little bit about the ability to create funnels. So you can go to funnel setup here and what you do is you tell you tell a click magic all the links of your funnels. You say, hey, here's one page, here's the next page, here's the next page, here's the next page and then it gives you a link um, that you use as as a link to send from page to page to page, and then Click Magic is now able to track your entire funnel, okay? And it's able to tell you all this kinds of cool information, like hey, when someone goes into your funnel, you know, here's where people are dropping off, here's you know what traffic sources tend to go through the funnel the best, etc., etc., etc. And it's all done just via links. Like Click Magic is is a link tracking software, and it just gives you links that you can then link all your funnel pages with, and it'll do that for you. And then the second cool thing is pixels, okay? Tracking pixels. So what you do, the way this all works is, um, the way it tracks like all the information we were talking about, like conversions and stuff, is it gives you either an HTML pixel or a JavaScript pixel. If you don't know what either one of those are, it just gives you a piece of code that looks like this, right? And you just have to insert it in your site. It's really, really easy. Um, there's like a million trainings on YouTube. It takes about 30 seconds to insert into a website or a sales funnel and it's running. And what it does is you put it on a page of your of your website or your funnel and you say, hey, this pixel is a sales pixel, okay? Meaning, if someone comes if someone comes to a page that this pixel is on, it means they bought something to get there, okay? So we put this on like a thank you page, right? And what that does is now Click Magic can track and it can say, hey, you you made you know <clears throat> ten sales from your YouTube channel today because ten people that clicked through your YouTube link made it all the way through and they went to the page that had this script in it and therefore we know they purchased and you can put in an amount, right? And then that takes us back to where Click Magic can give you an ROI. It can say, hey, you know, out of the 5,000 people that have clicked your Affiliate Secrets webinar link, you know, 2,500 opted in and 300 of them actually bought. And you've told us that your course is $897, which it is. And therefore, um, we know that your ROI on each click is, don't ask me the math on that, but I would say it's about... I have no idea. <laughs> but anyway, it'll tell you what your ROI is, okay? And then and then like we talked about earlier, it can break that down by each channel. You can create a million sub IDs, YouTube, solo ads, Facebook ads, um, which ad, you can see which ad ends up, you know, bringing in the most conversions. Just all kinds of really powerful information that you can get. And I'm done now ragging on all the information you can get. Um, <clears throat> I explained that you can do split testing, okay? So if you look, it's really easy to take that link and I can say, hey, I wanna create a split test and basically I want half the people or a third of the people or a quarter of the people that go to this link to click this link to go here and I want another quarter of them to go here. So you can test pages, right? You can say like, hey, I'm gonna send you people to this page and this page and I'm gonna see which page does better, okay? And which page converts better, right? Which ends up selling better or getting them to put in their email address better or whatever it is that you want those pages to do and you can change the weights and stuff right here. Um, and really do all kinds of more things, but I'm not gonna talk too much about that either. Okay, so um, link rotators, we're not gonna talk about. If you're a solo ads provider, it does off, like it's got all kinds of capabilities for link rotating um, that I would say almost every solo ads provider uh, is using. So you, you almost have to use this software if you're doing solo ads, in my opinion. Um, now let's go into like, you've kind of seen what it can do. <laughs> you've seen there's a ton more options in terms of tools and things like that. But basically, <clears throat> a quick overview, Click Magic allows you to create links and then um, put those links on your actual domain. And then when people click those links, you can do you can send them to all kinds of places, okay? And you can track everything that those people are doing, okay? And, and therefore have the data you need to make smart business decisions. So that's what it does. The pros and the cons. The pro is, like I talked about earlier, it can do anything. Like 
everything I was I was thinking of, like I was sitting there thinking like, oh, I wonder if I can do this. And I spent like an hour watching YouTube videos and boom, it could do that. And then I was like, I wonder if I can do this. And it could do that. So the pros are it has the capability to do anything. When you get into like advanced settings of all the things, you can just do all kinds of things. You can include and exclude different countries. Like, hey, I don't want people that click the link. You know, I want people that click the link from this country to go here, or this country to go here. Um, I want people that are on mobile to go here and, you know, or iOS specific to go here. Like you can see there's just, there's no end to what you can set up inside of ClickMagic. And uh, that's a pro. The other pro is the price. It starts at like $14 a month or something crazy cheap like that. Like way cheaper than a lot of competing software. Really, really good deal. Um, so that's a pro. And the last pro is it's got help documentation for everything. Okay, you see these question marks? Every single thing it asks you. So it is confusing, but guess what? There is a question mark by everything and it will take you to a page that can teach you everything you need to know about that particular thing. You know, oh, okay, you wanna know how geotarting and backup URLs work? You wanna know what that is? I'll teach you. Um, so it, ha it has probably the best help I've ever seen of any website ever. Um, and that's because it's been around for a while and because it's kind of a confusing software. So very, very good in terms of help documentation. The cons are um, the support is like the one hour support desk thing. You don't get live support and that's pretty well matched to the price, I think. I mean, when you're paying $14 a month, it's hard for any software to offer you fresh live 24 seven support, right? Um, so support, uh, but the help docs, honestly, like I never had to reach out to support because there was always a help doc that talked me through everything or a YouTube video, but I rarely had to turn to YouTube videos. Um, the second con is it's very complicated. If you're looking for something very simple, um, you know, there are some free options, but um, down the road, I've found that most people end up wanting a little bit more complicated, okay? So you can make it simple, right? You can just create links like this and have them forward on. So I could just create a link right now. Oops, I broke something. Oh, I could say, hey, I want you to send, you know, I want you to send tracking.builderpreneur.com slash Spencer to spencermecom.com. Okay, and I could do something simple like that and just, oh, I threw an X in my name. And boom, I've got, you know, simple, um, tracking software, but then down the road, I can do all kinds of things with that. Um, and, and you can't, if you choose a free one down the road, you're kind of stuck unless you want to go out and change all your links out there, which is kind of a nightmare. So, um, it can be as simple as you want, but it, it can be very, very complicated. Um, and, and even some of the basic stuff I think can be a little more complicated than it needs to be, but it's totally worth it in my opinion to spend an extra hour learning how to do this stuff and then not be stuck in a rut down the road saying, oh, I can't change my softwares. You know, I've got this free one I've been using, but I want to do all this other stuff and I can't because I've, you know, I've already put links all over the place and I don't want those links to be gone. Um, and then the last con is the interface. I think the interface, as you can see, you're probably looking here and you're like, wow, I don't even know what he's been doing this whole time. The interface is a little bit clunky. It's a little bit outdated. Um, not my favorite interface of all the softwares I've used. Um, like I said, I, I think it's been, it's an older software and that's why they have so many cool options and so many, so much good like documentation. But the con of that is it's a little bit clunky in terms of like not, not totally user friendly. Okay. So that's the pros. That's the cons. There's a link down below. If you want to see another review with kind of some, like a, a written breakdown of everything, you can go ahead and click that blog link down below. Um, I hope you subscribed. I know this review might've been a little bit, um, what's the word all over the place. That's because click magic is crazy. It's cool. And it's crazy. It's got all kinds of cool things in it. So anyway, um, thank you for watching subscribe.